Hello everyone and welcome to the very first episode of Kronos. I don't know if I should say blindly plays or plays for the first time Final Fantasy VII Remake. Now I played the original, there's a let's play of it, a walkthrough let's play of it on the channel if you want to go watch that. And like many of you, I've been waiting for a remake since they did that tech demo for PlayStation 3. So yeah, it's been a long time coming and I'm, I'm trying not to be hyped to play this game. I haven't played the demo. Uh, I've only seen the first few trailers for it as well, but I've heard many good things from what appeared on those trailers, uh, the trailers after the first batch, and I'm I'm excited. I'm trying not to be hyped, just so I don't get myself disappointed. But I am, I am, I am hyped to play this. Final Fantasy VII is one of my favorite Final Fantasy games. I wouldn't. You know, I wouldn't say it's my favorite. Four has a special place in my heart, and six is also fantastic. But it is one of those games that kind of broke out of the shell of a niche genre back in the day. And to this day, I think it's still one of the best selling, if not the best selling Final Fantasy game. I think it was beat. I think it was beat eventually, I think by maybe Final Fantasy X, actually. But anyways, that's besides the point. Let's start. Let's just start and see where... That is a beautiful... <laughs> that is a beautiful menu option. Um, Let's see. That's fine. Audio seems fine right now. Is there a subtitles option that I need to turn on? I didn't miss it, did I? No. Gameplay. Subtitles. Dialogue and speaker name. Okay. Sure. Cursor position outside of battle. Difficulty normal. Oh, there's... Oh. Um. Sure. Let's just keep it the normal, then. That's we Wait, that's weird. There's easy... And then classic. Oh, is it like... Oh, is this like an ATB type deal? Like the original, though... It's not the same. I have seen... I have seen the combat of the game. Uh, and some of the trailers and stuff, but... Yeah, it's... I don't know. Anyways... Um, I'm usually a remember cursor kind of guy. I'll keep the outside battle cursor on forget, because... That... It's less important, but then again, I'm not sure how big of a play that's going to be for this this type of game. Uh, let's go ahead and start. Uh, default's fine. Normal's fine. So this classic, easy, and normal. No hard mode? That's actually kind of surprising. If you're going to have three difficulty settings... Now, hopefully, Square actually does not block this anywhere worldwide. Like, I don't care if they content ID this for monetization. It sucks, but don't block it worldwide, please. I don't want to have to do any funky editing or cut any videos. They they were kind of a jerk with uh, Final Fantasy XIII. I think this was... In one of the earlier trailers, too. At least I remember seeing that bird flying. Oh, they, they got him back for the music? Didn't he stop working? On Square stuff? Nobu? I could be misinformed about that. Oh, the place. <laughs> the playground. Wait! That's supposed to be underground, isn't it? Is this underground? It's very light for underground. No, this is definitely above ground. That's creepy. Maybe it's just a common theme for uh, playgrounds. Oh, 
Oh, I already know where this is going. Yeah. Jesus Christ, these graphics. <laughs> I guess they're on par with today's day and age, but man, if you told me back in the day that I'd be seeing a cutscene like this while playing Final Fantasy VII, what are you looking at? Is someone down there? Assuming that is a yes. Oh, when it comes to spoilers, like for, well, anything involving this game, obviously no spoilers. It's a remake, it's a retelling of the story. What's coming is going to be pretty much new to me. I know the gist of the original story. Actually, I know the story completely from the original. From what I can tell, they kind of redid everything. There might still be similar, but at the same time, no spoilers. Now, spoilers for the original game. Also, I'm going to try my best not to mention any of the originals, just in case you're someone who never played the original and are watching this as your first time, as a first experience for Final Fantasy VII. Um, being said, I will probably go over it if certain events have changed, and I'll probably talk about it, like, definitely, like, I would imagine at the end, but we'll worry about that when we get to the end. So I remember they showed a scene like this for a PlayStation 3 tech demo and everyone got extremely excited from it. And it was just like, oh no, we're not actually remaking, hey, the Madeira. We're not actually remaking Final Fantasy VII. That was just a tech demo for PlayStation 3. It's like, are you, are you kidding? <laughs> Why would you do that? I do like these guys' uniforms. The headdress is kind of... Well... Kind of like Splinter Cell, actually. <laughs> oh. So what happened to the first one? Wedge, did you get him? I mean, person I don't know. Nice tat. Nice jump. <laughs> I'm gonna try to keep the eye on the audio levels here, make sure they're not too bad. Are we just into the game? Oh my god. Okay, so squares attack. How do I... Get to the menu. So here's kind of pixely. But they always get here weird in the game. Hey, Barrett, person I don't know. How do I access the menu? I want to see my stats. Okay, never mind. Halt! Who goes there? I go there. You're up. I know. Hi guys, uh, use square to attack with Cloud Sword, not X Soldier Sword. Uh, hold square to unleash an attack capable of hitting multiple nearby enemies. Okay. You're coming with us, nice and easy. Don't think so. Yeah, don't think so. Ooh, level up, Cloud Devil. But actually, they kept that the same. Warming up. Yeah, in the first. I'm not going to talk about the original. In the first battle of the original game, you leveled up to level 7 as well. But seriously, how do I get to my menu? I want to see my stats. That's rude. I got 1,000 HP. Holy crap. Oh, that's how you sprint and press down the left stick. Who in the hell? I'm Cloud. Nice to meet you. No. You guys are not going to do anything, huh? Have fun. I will. The 
ATB gauge fills as time passes and by attacking with square. Once the bar is full, your character can perform a special action. Charges uh, can be used immediately or saved. Try attacking an enemy to fill the gauge. Freeze. Now I'm just gonna stay there and let them like Go ahead. kill me. Uh, you can expand uh, ATB gauge charges to perform battle commands such as using abilities, magic, or items. Press X and use. Uh, try using one of the commands. Okay. X. Enough of this. Enough of this, he says. Braver attack. Can I do it on the one with more HP? Oh, soldier operator. No, I'm, I'm more of a customer service guy. Is that it? Uh, checking character data. Oh, finally. Yeah, I pressed the option, but that's what I have been doing. When out, when not in battle, you can check the map. Uh, you can check the map. Open menus and view various kinds of information. Use options to open the main menu. Uh, press the touchpad to access the map and check your various objectives. Uh, when the whatever the hell icon that is appears, move your character close to it to automatically jump, crouch, or perform whatever other actions is required. Okay, start. From the main menu, you can view your inventory and gameplay status, as well as save and load your game. Save anywhere? Oh. Thank you! I love saving anywhere! That is the best thing to ever happen in any RPG is when they're just like, you know what? Screw save points, save anywhere. Apparently it takes a while to save though, holy crap. <laughs> Alright. Sure, uh, party, got Buster Sword, got 22 attack, and hey, at least they show the magic this time around. Uh, the weapons in the original had magic stats, but they just didn't show them. Uh, bronze Bangle 10-10. Okay. Uh, lesser resistance. Wait, what? Oh, there's nothing there. That's why it doesn't show anything. Okay, toggle page. So we got... Fire spell. No lightning, huh? And our limit break is cross slash. Okay. Enemy intel. It's security officer. I mean, it takes a while to load, apparently, but still looks pretty good. Apparently, I haven't gotten any drops by them, either. That's fine. Alright. Lovely. And map. On this map screen, you can check your current scenario objective and view the lay of the land. It's pretty straightforward. Alright. Weapon. Absolutely not. I don't want to crack the floor. You got this. I know. Yeah, what he said. Thanks. Guarding and evading. You can defend against an enemy attack by pressing R1 and evade or evade with uh, circle. A successful, a successful guard reduces the amount of damage suffered and also charges your ATB gauge. You're coming with us. Can't get surrounded. Oh, it is nope. Dark Souls. <laughs> Spin the wind, baby! I said spin the wind, but I didn't spin. Uh, lock it on with that. Hi, how's it going? Now, I am gonna probably, at some point... You you were gonna kick me? I was gonna say, I, I am probably gonna guard at some point, just not right now. I don't need it. I Oh, man, your ankle was destroyed there, dog. Any items? Can I, can I rob these ATMs? Oh wait, no, they're probably tickets, ticket stations. Huh, I like it. Go to sector five, well, all right. Okay, up we go. Oh, there's a chest. Use triangle to open chests or doors or talk to people. You can see the word hold when you need to hold. If you see the word hold when you need then you need to hold... Okay. Sure. Yeah, there'll be situations where I have to hold triangle. Tame two potions. Lovely. Oh, I was gonna say, do I have to jump over these? Nope. Two grenades. Alright. Now, if they're like the original, that should be fixed damage. Well, not fixed, but... A range. 
type damage that's not elemental. If you find boxes with the Shinra logo, you press square to smash them with your sword. Uh, they may contain useful items such as potions that restore HP or Mako shards that restore MP. Not ethers. Not ethers, though. Uh, we got a Moogle medal? Okay. Sure, give me that Moogle medal. So what's Soldier Boy's deal? Is he one of us now? He's got balls this... Uh, I do. Uh, what was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional. Unlike the rest God, of God, you look like Charlie Sheen. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> <laughs> this is a one-time gig. Holy shit. When it's done, we're done. Wedge. Uh, Aw. Uh, is that a grenade launcher? Real joy to look at, too. Damn right I am. Here we go. Where am I going? Over there? What people notice first. Guess I'm not on the same page as people. I'd say you're not even reading the same book. Go! Oh. Enough. We're done here. Or even the same. Oh. <laughs> I like you, Jesse. Actually, Wedge, I can talk to you apparently. You'll keep us safe, right, Cloud? Wow. They've almost got the door. Do they now? We're doing this. We're really doing it. Man, I think I'm going to be sick. You'll keep us sick. Okay. Yeah, well, if you're going to get sick, go over the railing. Can I talk to Jesse and Biggs? No. You can run into the mockery, though. I right, Barrett. What was that for? You are a wide man. Come on, nobody do something this crazy just for money. Yes, I would. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think? Not interested. <laughs> what? <laughs> Which? Uh, uh, Booty? You better be worth the money, Merc. Every last gill. <laughs> that soldier is very incompetent. To just stand there while three other people just run, like, pretty much in front of him. That was a very iconic scene there. Oh, I thought that was like a special green block or something. You can press the R3 button to lock onto a specific target. Press R3 again to unlock. While locked onto a target, you can use the right stick or the directional pad to switch between multiple targets. Get him, boy! <gasps> it's a puppy! Guess you're first. The puppy takes, like, not that much damage. Punisher mode? What's Punisher mode? Oh, stagger! Yo, they brought that back from Final Fantasy 13. It's over. Good. I Looks like staggering. Like next. That it? Also, wait. Is Punisher mode like a stance change? I thought it was like going to be a skill or something. Really, Cloud? You couldn't step over that. Uh, bottle of the ether. Oh. Okay. Oh, Bobby. So, Punisher. Okay, so does Punisher s probably staggers more? And then we switch back to that and just goes for the kill. Does more damage. Wow, the guy died way before the dog did, huh? Nothing to it. Should probably heal, huh? Almost at ha half HP. How the hell did you get up there? Hey, Cloud! Elevator's over there! I Thank you! Okay, well, maybe I'll use a potion? Sure. Not bad heal. 
That's not how you use the button. What was that? Oh, it's a light. Oh, what was this? that? That electricity? Oh. Oh, they were cutting the thing. This way. I will be there in a second. I gotta get all this stuff. Just in case there's a Moogle medallion or whatever the hell those things were earlier. Fast. We've got company. Okay, shoot him. Who's a good boy? Guess you're more like a cat. You are saying guard dog though, so. Ow. Maybe this does do more damage. No. I have no idea actually what's the difference. I think strong attack does do more stagger damage, though. You're gonna grenade me? I'm guessing a little stronger than the other ones. Well, maybe not. That it? Oh. N nothing. I'm so sad that it's I'm actually about to cry. You guys really should try attacking. I know you're not like me. You're not strong. I am Soldier Boy. But at the same time, get guns. Why does it like a grenade launcher? Jesse did kick someone unconscious. I mean, Wedge uh, Biggs held, held them for her, but still. These guys aren't exactly, uh, you know, cream of the crop, right? You guys can leave this open for me? Hold. That seems unnecessary. <laughs> Come on, Cloud. One second. Hey, Biggs. Or Wedge, sorry. You guys look the same. What are you doing? I'll secure our escape route, okay? Sure. Can't really do that from over here. Alright, just checking. Mako Reactor 1? Wait, 1? Oh yeah, it is 1. Soldiers may attack on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs too. Bow wow wow. I've seen a few reactors. So how do we get to the bridge above Mako's storage? <sighs> Ain't holding out on me, are you? Stamp scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little doggy? Uh... Have it your way, Mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. Never seen one like this, but I'll manage. Don't mind the head thing I just did. Uh, hi, Jesse. Don't you worry. Biggs will have the door open soon. Don't you worry. Biggs will have the door open soon. I like swords. How about you, Barrett? I'm watching you. I know. I'm watching you. In three, two... Damn, I'm good. Good job, Biggs. Who's there? Cloud. Door! With two oh, clicks of... Uh, bye! It's over! No, it's not. That's my line. It's literally just beginning. Switching modes. Every character has a unique ability, which you can activate with triangle. I already did that. With Cloud's mode shift, he can switch between his balance operator mode and his attack or oriented punisher mode. Press triangle to try it. I already done that, yeah. He's a 
He's alone! We can take him! No, you can't. In Punisher mode, Cloud moves more slowly, but unleashes a more powerful attack than usual. In addition, Cloud launches a counter blow every time a gar his guard he guards against enemies' melee attack. He cannot, however, guard against range attacks or magic. When you have uh, when you evade such attacks, you will switch back to operator mode. Oh. We can take him. Make it rain. So it doesn't do more stagger, or it just does more damage. I guess it does do more stagger because it does more damage. They're dead. He always knows just what to say. Cut it out. Max charms that. All right, I think. Big has this place. Big has this wedge covered, huh? Biggs has this place covered. I think that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like and below. If you're not subscribed yet, want to hear my videos, I can check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.